Right now we're going to do pyruvate and compare it to lactate. So all it is is three diamonds. And one of the diamonds is a methyl. So what do we do on these? It's easiest if we connect them in the middle. We'll even draw lactates here. One, two, three. One, two, three. This is the reaction that happens when you're breaking down your glucose, splits it into two pyruvates. If there's not enough oxygen around, this is when you're burning your muscles, not enough oxygen goes to lactic acid. Now guess what? The first carbon up here is a methyl. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot. Dot. So what do we do to give ourselves confidence? We say, well, that carbon's done. One down, two to go. So this is where we're going to learn something here because it's going to show us what reaction is taking place. Already I messed this up, so watch. We're going to change this because what we want to show isn't going to be shown if we do it our traditional way. What we're going to learn is there's probably going to be different ways later when we're doing fats and stuff. Should we stagger the diamond bonds? Anyway, what this gets... Double bond, that carbon's done, right? This up here is a carboxylic acid. We'll draw it in the traditional form here, which is double bond. OH. Over there, it's the same thing. So let's get her done. Color in the oxygen all the way over here to make it an acid it's going to get the proton in the middle it's the proton that makes it an acid so when you hear lactic acid now this is where the we'll color those diamonds in we're done with them Pyruvate is done. All the carbons, four bonds, four bonds, four bonds, oxygens. So what do we notice here? We'll make it a little bigger because we're em emphasizing where the reaction is taking place here. Make that really big. So now when we look over here, This carbon gets an OH instead of a double bonded O. So actually, this carbon could go on the side here because it's going to get a hydrogen dot up top. So now when we look on that carbon, how many bonds? One, two, three, four? Done. Look how easy it is to draw chemical structures. So now when we look at it, we can see what the difference is. Double bonded O, OH. Hmm? So when pyruvate is getting broken down, 
Not enough oxygen, it goes to lactic acid. It's breaking a double bond, making it into an OH. Okay, we're going to stick with the markers here. We're doing pretty good on that. The whiteboard markers. Again, all we need are four colors. And this one is actually going to need a different color for the sulfur. But we're going to draw a real technical structure here. See the long carbon tail? We'll learn these isoprenes, five carbon long, carbons long. Double ring structure here. Looks kind of complicated, huh? A chemical structure there. Watch how easy it is for us. Double ring structure. So let's start right in the middle, I guess. Diamond, diamond. 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 This goes to each other, to another diamond. This is where it gets a little tricky here. We've got a sulfur. We usually use orange for the phosphorus, but in this case, no can do. So we've got an S. S is in the same family as oxygen, remember? Two bonds. So we'll kind of use green here to show the S. So when we look at this here, we're going to see two ends up here are just diamonds. I mean, triangles. One to that, one to that, to a diamond up here. Boing. See, it's not intimidating at all, is it? We just draw the shape. There's only that number of many bonds. Let's see. We could actually make this better. If I was looking ahead, I'd see that there's a double bond on that O. Let's do this. We draw our diamond. Diamond. Let's do the O first. So here's one. The O. So it won't look as cool. But it's practical. So now we look. We that that carbon's done. Color it in. These nitrogens are just getting a hydrogen on there. So do do. And see, you can wait till the end and color them all in. And this is a fun exercise, kids, because you can do this with any molecule you find in any textbook. You can go through and play with it and do your diamonds. I know for a fact that these two are right there. So we can color those carbons in. Now, this is a complicated ring structure here, folks. Don't get too worried about it. This over here... I see this drawn two different ways. There may be a methyl group off to the side here. So what we're going to do is we'll leave that, and that's something we can look up. Because if I put it in there and get it wrong, it'll be all over everywhere. So now we're going to go with our carbon structure here. Five carbons. So just draw five diamonds. No need to worry about it. One. Two. Three. Four. It's on the end. We're gonna have 